Antigua and Barbuda is a twin island nation in the Americas and it lies between the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. The country is made up of two main populated islands, Antigua and Barbuda, and several other smaller islands such as Long, Green, Great Bird, Guinea, Maiden and York Islands, and further south, the Redonda Island. The total population as of 2011 is roughly 81,800. St. John's on Antigua is the capital city and the largest port in the nation, Antigua and Barbuda are separated from each other by a few nautical miles, and they are in the middle of the Leeward Islands, a section of the Lesser Antilles. The country got its name from Christopher Columbus in 1493 when he discovered the island. The name was given in tribute of the Virgin of La Antigua in the Seville Cathedral. The nation is nicknamed Land of 365 Beaches because of the numerous beaches that surround the islands. The culture, language and governance of Antigua and Barbuda have been influenced a lot by the British Empire, of which the nation was once a part of, the history of this country can be separated into three main different eras. Antigua and Barbuda was initially occupied by the archaic age hunter-gatherer Amerindians known as the Siboney or Siboney. These were then succeeded by the Ceramic Age pre-Columbian Saladoy people who spoke Arawak and they emigrated from the lower Orinoco River. The first wave of European colonization neglected the two islands but they were occupied by England in 1632. Under British rule, the islands experienced an influx of both African slaves and Britons. In 1981, the country was granted sovereignty and became the present nation of Antigua and Barbuda. Land of Antigua and Barbuda, Antigua's coastline is intricate, with bays and headlands fringed with reefs and shoals, several inlets, including Parham and English Harbour, afford anchorage for shipping, and St. John's has a deep water harbour. The island has an area of 108 square miles, 280 square kilometres. It is mostly low and undulating, but in the west there are volcanic rocks that rise to 1,330 feet, 405 metres, at Mount Obama, formerly Boggy Peak. An absence of mountains and forests distinguishes Antigua from the other Leeward Islands. Because there are no rivers and few springs, droughts occurred despite a mean annual rainfall of some 40 inches mm. The average January temperature is around 77 degrees Fahrenheit 25 degrees Celsius. That of August, 82 degrees Fahrenheit 28 degrees Celsius. Summer highs can reach 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius. Barbuda, formerly Dulcina, lies 25 miles 40 kilometers, north of Antigua. A coral island, flat and well wooded, with highlands rising to 143 feet 44 meters, at Lindsay Hill in the northeast, it is 62 square miles 161 square kilometers, in area. Barbuda is without streams or lakes and receives less rainfall than Antigua. Codrington, the only settlement, lies on a lagoon to the west. The climate is similar to that of Antigua, Redonda, an uninhabited rock, lies 25 miles 40 kilometers southwest of Antigua. It rises sheer to a height of 1,000 feet 305 meters, and is 0.5 square mile 1.25 square kilometers, in area. Phosphate deposits are located there. Geography of Antigua and Barbuda the country consists of a number of islands, of which Antigua is the largest one and the most populated. Barbuda, just north of Antigua, is the other main island. The islands have a warm, tropical climate, with fairly constant temperatures year-round. Redonda, annexed in the 1860s when phosphate reserves were noted, unoccupied since 1930 also belongs to the nation of Antigua and Barbuda. The islands are mostly low-lying, with the highest point being Boggy Peak, at 402 meters, 1,319 feet. The small country's main town is the capital St. John's on Antigua, Barbuda's largest town is Codrington, people of Antigua and Barbuda, the majority of the population is of African descent. Most of Antigua's inhabitants live in St. John's. The language is English, and some two-thirds of the people are Christian. The single largest denomination is Anglicanism. There are also large proportions of Seventh-day Adventists, Pentecostals, Moravians, and Methodists. Economy of Antigua and Barbuda, 
in the 20th century, tourism took the place of the sugarcane industry as the principal means of income for Antigua and Barbuda's economy, and it is the main source of employment for those living on the island. Most tourists come from the United States, but also Canada and other European and countries. Agriculture is also important to Antigua and Barbuda's economy, and it is primarily focused on the domestic market rather than the export of goods. The agricultural production consists of fruits and vegetables, bananas, mangoes, coconuts, sugarcane, cotton, and livestock. The majority of the island's workforce works in commerce and service while most of the remainder works in agriculture. The rest of the workforce is employed by the government. The economy has become gradually more diversified, so it will not be vulnerable to forces such as hurricanes and violent storms. In recent years, Antigua and Barbuda has had a construction boom in hotels and housing. It has encouraged growth in transportation, communications, internet gambling, and financial services. Antigua and Barbuda's currency is the Eastern Caribbean dollar, EC dollar, a regional currency shared among members of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union, ECCU. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, issues the EC dollar, manages monetary policy, and regulates and supervises commercial banking activities in its member countries. Demographics of Antigua and Barbuda Antigua and Barbuda are predominantly of African or mixed African ancestry. The descendants of slaves brought to the islands by British colonial sugar planters. There is a presence of Portuguese or mixed African Portuguese who were brought to the islands to work as indentured servants. There are also Europeans principally of English and Irish descent, Arabs from Lebanon and Syria, and Chinese. The majority of the country's inhabitants live in Antigua, with a significant proportion living in the capital city, St. John's. The rest of Antigua's population is largely rural. The inhabitants of Barbuda mostly live in the village of Codrington. Redonda is also inhabited. There is a large percentage of the population who live abroad mainly in the United States. Canada, and England. A few of the Antiguan residents are immigrants from the United States, Dominica, Guyana, and Jamaica. In terms of religion, the people are predominantly Christian, and reflecting the long period of British influence, Anglicanism is the most widely practiced denomination. The official language is English, but many of the people speak a dialect combining English with West African and Romance language elements, known as Lesser Antilles Patois, 90% of the population is literate. In 1998, Antigua adopted a national mandate to become the preeminent provider of medical services in the Caribbean. As part of this mission, Antigua is building the most technologically advanced hospital in the Caribbean, the M. St. John Medical Center. The island of Antigua currently has two medical schools, American University of Antigua College of Medicine, AUA. Founded in 2004 in the University of Health Sciences Antigua, UHSA, founded in 1982. There is also a government-owned state college in Antigua as well as the Antigua and Barbuda Institute of Information Technology, ABIAT. The University of the West Indies has a branch in Antigua for locals to continue university studies. Culture of Antigua and Barbuda Antigua and Barbuda retains a traditional West Indian character with a strong British stamp. It is manifested in the gingerbread architecture found around the capital, the popularity of steel band, calypso and reggae music, and in festivities, such as carnival, English tradition also plays an important role, as it is evident in the national sport, cricket. Cricket is popular and played everywhere by all ages. National and international games are played at the Antiguan Recreation Ground in St. John's. Viv Richards, King Viv or the Master Blaster as he was known, is one of the most famous cricketers in the modern game. A new stadium at the outskirts of Ste. John's has been built and is named Sir Vivian Richards Stadium. Soccer and basketball are also increasing in popularity. Famous athletes are Sonia Williams and Heather Samuel who have represented Antigua at the Olympic Games. Other athletes to watch are Janelle Williams, Brendan Christian, 100M, 200M, Daniel Bailey, 100M, 200M, and James Grayman, High Jump, Reggae and Zouk, a rhythmic music that originated in Martinique and Guadeloupe in the 1980s, are both popular on the islands. Calypso and Soca are also two other popular expressions of local music. The roots of the genre lay in the arrival of African slaves, who, not being allowed to speak with each other, 
communicated through song. Soca is also a singing style like calypso, but is much more rhythmic and soulful. The most popular of all is a style of music called steel pan, steel drum, originated in Trinidad. It is a melodic percussion music that comes from tapping oil drums. It is an integral part of the annual carnival and the Christmas festivities.